I often see grading block on the street, especially on the MRT. When I look and try to step on a grading block, it turns out that the grading block has a two different pattern. At that time, I was wearing shoes, so I could not child the two patterns anymore. I began to think, can we make a tool that can detect this pattern quickly? My name is Matt Farhan, and this is my research. Introduction The guiding block system was first instituted for in Japan on Parisian crossing and other dangerous road situations. The existence of a guiding block helped the blind people to know their direction so they are not in an environment they don't want. And what the problem can be found? The problem we will get from guiding block is that if we use a thick footwear, we can no longer feel the pattern contained in the guiding block. Other problem can be found when we try to identify pattern contained in guiding block, it takes additional time. And how to solve the problem? A tool is required that enable to detect the guiding block quickly. Audit is one of them. The tool to be used as several components consisting of Arduino, multiplexer, Bluetooth, LED, OLED, and also vibration motor. At the bottom of the tool, there are 32 push buttons that are connected to Arduino with the help of a multiplexer. The data that we will obtain is the number of push buttons that are pressed if we step on the surface. The button which is located in this part of the shoe is divided into two parts. The 16 left push button are data A and the right 16 button are data B. And how do we differ between normal popping and guiding block? If we stop on the surface of the guiding block and our normal popping, we can know that these two types of popping have a clear difference. In the guiding block, there is a prominent pattern while the normal popping has a flat surface. Of course, this can affect the number of buttons that are pressed on the bottom of the suit. The thing to do is to calculate the average number of buttons that are pressed on the two puffing pieces. After data collection, it can be seen that if we step on the guiding block, the average number of buttons that are pressed is 6. Meanwhile, the paranormal puffing to the flat surface, the average number of buttons pressed is 26. After we know the average number of buttons pressed on each puffing, the next thing to do is to determine the detection area. We know beforehand when we step on the guiding block, the average number of buttons that are pressed is 6. Therefore, if the total button press is between 3 until 12, it can be said that the guiding block is detected. Apart from that, normal puffing is detected. After being able to distinguish between guiding block and normal puffing, how do you tell the difference between the two types of guiding block? We know that guiding block has two different patterns namely the go pattern as well as the stop pattern. Because the two puffing pieces has a different pattern, then another thing that needs to be calculated besides the total button being pressed is the difference between data A and data B. This is data obtained when we step on the guiding block pattern go. And this is data obtained when we step on the guiding block pattern stop. Can be seen based on this data what type of puffing has the same button press that 6. Meanwhile, for the difference between data A and data B has a different data. This is what we are looking forward to can be used as a benchmark to distinguish the two types of puffing. If a detection area match based on the difference between data A and data B, then as previously known, puffing with pattern go has an effort difference of 5. Meanwhile, puffing with the pattern stop has an average difference of 3. So if the detection area is met, then if the difference in data is between 1 until 3, the guiding block indicating stop is detected. Meanwhile, if the difference in data is between 4 until 10, then the guiding block indicating go is detected. But if the difference in data is other than what stated, the system will detect to be an error. When the program is started, the first thing to do is to read the total button press. If the total button press is between 3 until 12, then the user is stepping on the guiding block. 
In addition, it can be said that the user is not stepping on the gliding block if the number of button press is zero, means the user is lifting the leg. If gliding block is detected, another thing that will be checked is the difference between data A and data B. If the difference between the two data is between 1 until 3, then it can be said that the user is tapping on the gliding block indicating stop. Conversely, if the difference between data A and data B is between 4 until 10, then the gliding block with a go indication is detected. The tool will provide a two output, that is. The first inside the shoe, there is a 2 fibers motor. And the second, there are three LED. The vibration model will vibrate with a different pattern depending on the type of puffing step on. So from here, the user can feel the difference in the vibration for each puffing. Likewise, with the LED, the LED will light up differently depending on the type of puffing step on. Result and analysis. Testing is required to measure the sensitivity of the tool. If the system detects the same pattern as the type of puffing that is stepped on, this condition is called true positive. Otherwise, when the system detects a pattern that is different from the type of puffing that is stepped on, this condition is called false negative. Conclusion this tool is able to detect and know the gliding block pattern that has been stepped quickly, and also able to alert its user if they get out of a gliding block. This tool is still needs a lot of improvement to get the maximum result. It is hoped that in the future, this tool will be able to help to identify the two gliding block patterns quickly. Future work As is well known, here the button is very sensitive or easily damaged. So it is necessary to find other more optimal ways of surface reading. My name is Matt Pahan and this is my research audit. Thank you.